Welcome to Indispensable, Connection Ministries video training series for churches and volunteers who are building Christian community with adults with intellectual disabilities. This episode is a biblical introduction for the Indispensable video training series. My name is Don Bowden, and welcome to Connection Ministries' video training series, Indispensable. Throughout this series, Jackie Schaefer and I will present ideas on a variety of topics. Indispensable is a training series that is intended for church leaders and volunteers who are involved in or considering ministries that build Christian community with adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. For decades, our ministry has equipped churches to minister with adults with intellectual disabilities. These concepts that are presented in this series have been proven effective by actual ministries in congregations. Many of the ideas were developed by these ministries and we kind of just copied them. Throughout this series, you will hear from our friends with intellectual disabilities, family members, and volunteers. Although the initial purpose for this series is to equip the ministries that are part of the Connection Ministries Network, any church preparing their staff or volunteers for this ministry or starting new ministries will find the series helpful. The series is divided into topics, each covering an overall subject. Many of the topics are further segmented into episodes. You can view the entire series from the beginning or watch a specific topic. It will be important to understand the foundational concepts that we cover in the early topics. If you find some of these concepts as new or even controversial, know that they are based on a biblical blueprint as described in, in the Christian community we find in Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. It is our vision that ministries with adults with intellectual disabilities follow this blueprint. The characteristics of these early Christian communities included helping anyone who had need regularly meeting in the temple courts, breaking bread together in their homes, and eating together with glad and sincere hearts. I particularly love the last verse in this passage, and the Lord added to their numbers daily those who were being saved. I want to encourage you in your quest to make the church accessible to adults with intellectual disabilities, that it not just be physically accessible, but also spiritually and relationally accessible. Ask yourself this question. Does the vision for this ministry in my church cause my congregation to embrace people with intellectual disabilities in the same way Jesus embraces his church? Believe me when I say, if Jesus' love for his church is the benchmark, we all have a long way to go. We just might need a new paradigm or wineskin if we are to achieve this vision. In Matthew 9, verse 17, when John's disciples asked Jesus why his disciples didn't fast, Jesus knew that they were trapped in a law-based system. Jesus came to bring good news, freeing them from this system. But if they were to understand what Jesus was teaching, they would need a new paradigm or wineskin. Old wineskins are dry and brittle. They are unable to expand during the fermentation of new wine. It's only a new wineskin that has the elasticity necessary to accommodate the carbon dioxide that is produced. The same analogy can be used when we consider the way disability ministry is done in our churches. Our models may be shaped by our age and the culture we grew up in. Secular education systems and academic research has also influenced us. Or maybe we've been involved in disability ministry for a long time and have become so set in our ways. Yet, what does the Bible have to say? God's Word through the Holy Spirit has the power to transform our minds so that we can grasp the wisdom and the heart of God. We will cover more about vision in a later topic, but it is our hope that God's Word will guide our churches to be authentic Christian communities much like we read about in Acts chapter 2. 
especially the part where it says, and the Lord added to their numbers daily those who are being saved. Sharing the good news of Jesus is hopefully common for most Christian churches. But reaching into the surrounding neighborhoods and embracing people with intellectual disabilities that live there, along with their families and caregivers, and growing closer to Christ with them is far less common. As recorded in the Gospels, Jesus put an emphasis in his ministry with people who were ill, had disabilities, or even deceased. He also cared for the people who were important in their lives. Do people with disabilities find a welcoming Christian family in our churches today? They face both physical and social barriers, and simply getting to church for them can be difficult. Few churches intentionally use their resources to seek out such people and include them in their faith community. In the nine county area where Connection Ministries ministers, there are over 28,000 adults with cognitive disabilities. However, only a very small percentage is part of a faith community. In 1 Corinthians 12, Paul tells us that every part of the body is necessary. In verses 21 and 22, he even makes the point that those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. If we have been honest with ourselves, do we consider people with intellectual disabilities as indispensable in our churches? For this reason, we selected indispensable as the name as well as the image we want viewers to grasp from this training series. Indispensable is defined as absolutely necessary, essential, and incapable of being disregarded or neglected. This is really not a new paradigm. It is as old as the ages, but it is good news for all of us because we all have weaknesses. We all need to know, including people with disabilities, that God considers us as indispensable. We are all needed in our churches. But why does God choose one person over another to have an intellectual disability? Why is one family called to care for a person with a disability and not another? In the same passage, we are told that God places the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wants them to be. He has a purpose for every one of us. Johnny Erickson Tata wrote, not everyone can be trusted with suffering. Not everyone can endure a fiery ordeal. So the master scrutinizes the jewels and carefully selects those that can bear the refining, the branches that can withstand the knife. It is given to some to preach, others to work, and for others to give, and still for others to suffer. Don Foley has been part of a friendship group for more than 30 years. Let's listen to his story and how God uses his friends with disabilities to literally transform his life. At a time when I was convinced that the mainline church that I had been attending was dead on arrival in terms of outreach, I decided to attend a church that had just opened a ministry for adults with intellectual disabilities. Well, little did I know that it was this ministry of friends with disabilities that led to my baptism by the Holy Spirit. Lester Rita, one of my friends, told me that she was depressed because her father had nothing to do with her, that she hardly ever saw her family. Well, I explained to her that she does have a family that includes her, the companions, other friends. We are her Christian family that God is her father, my father, the father of all who are a part of friendship ministry. Well, Lesterita looked at me with a huge smile. I told her that we were brother and sister in Christ. She said good and gave me a hug. I see the friends who attend Spirit of Joy's Tuesday Friendship Ministry as members of Spirit of Joy because when I ask them where they go to church, many, like Desmond, look at me in surprise that such a question would even be asked. They go to Spirit of Joy. When we witness the light of Christ shine through the life of a person whose body or intellect seems broken by our standards, our understanding of the power of God's grace and His glory is amplified in our hearts. We read in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, 
His power is truly made perfect in weakness. The vision of Connection Ministries is for Christian congregations to be authentic faith communities that reach out, share the good news of Jesus Christ, and truly embrace people with intellectual disabilities, their families, and their caregivers, and that we all together grow in our relationship with Christ. This word embrace is defined as to take in or include readily or gladly as part or element of a more inclusive whole, to cherish or love. Our churches not only need to readily include people with disabilities, we need to gladly receive them and cherish them. Connection Ministries believes that churches should not only reach out to people with disabilities, but embrace them with the love of Jesus. The vision for disability ministry in your church needs to be so much more than a ministry for people with disabilities. It needs to be a ministry that literally embraces them. We need to create an environment where friendships are forged, not just with those who are directly involved in the ministry, but others in the congregation. And we also need to embrace their families, friends, and caregivers. These concepts may already be part of your ministry, yet if you're like me, you need constant reminding. Preparing for this training series has been just that, a reminder for me. I hope this series will help you as well. If these concepts are a stretch for your ministry, the power of the Holy Spirit is available to help you take on a new wineskin. People attending our churches will always hear about Jesus. The question is, will we be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in the love of Christ who loves us? That's taken from Ephesians 5, verses 1 and 2. We will seek out people with disabilities in the same way that Jesus came to seek the lost. Thank you for joining us for this episode in Indispensable, the video training series. It is my hope that you will find these videos helpful and the time you spend a good investment in your ministry. Next to this video on the Connection Ministries website, you will be able to download a note sheet that follows this episode. If you have any questions or need information, you can email us at connect at connection-ministries.org or call our office 317-646-5067. Your prayers and financial gifts help Connection Ministries provide valuable resources for churches and families ministering with adults with intellectual disabilities. You can give online at www.connection-ministries.org.